What's up everybody? In reaction to my tutorial on 1971 Dodge Challenger RT B1 Race 900 plus COG tune tips, Funstock asks, which one is better, RT 69 or 71? So let's compare the Charger 69 to the Challenger 71 RT models and see which ones are truly better stock and maxed out. So first we want to start with our stock vehicles. To do so, just go into your car dealership and see what each one will be. We'll go up here to the filter button and let's look at Dodge. So we can see here the Challenger. Stock will run a 5.2 second 0 to 60 and a 14.1 quarter mile. Charger 5.4 0 to 60 and the same time for quarter mile. So right out of the box, we have a little bit quicker acceleration on the Challenger. That's probably due to the power to weight ratio. The weight of the Charger is 3,924 pounds, where the Challenger is 3,648. Then when you get to the race classes, 3.2 seconds 0 to 60, 10.9 quarter mile on the Challenger. And the Charger is just a little slower in the quarter mile, but with the same 0 to 60. However, we see that the Charger has more horsepower and perhaps might do better in long distances like the half and the full mile where the Challenger might uh, have the upper hand in the eighth and quarter miles. But to find out for sure, let's go look at rankings. When you race in career rating ladder mode, it'll save worldwide leaderboards of your time. So we'll switch here, start with the Challenger, B1 Street, and go into rankings, filter by current car. So here's our eighth mile for the Challenger RT, quarter mile, half mile, and full mile. Now let's compare with the Charger, B1 Street, Garage, rankings. Every time you'll have to apply the current car filter. Now for the Charger, we see the eighth, quarter, half, and full. So the winner for B1 Street would be the Challenger, slightly faster in all distances. So let's go see if, if it's the same story for the B1 race class. Okay, B1 race challenger, rankings, current car filter. Eighth mile, quarter mile, half, and full. Now to the B1 race charger. Again, filter by current car. There's our charger. Much less participants uh, with this vehicle, but for every distance, the Charger has the upper hand. So what that means is that for the B1 race class, either the Charger is a superior car or of the players that participated in the rating ladder for a career mode rating ladder, 
whoever had the top time for the charger in all distances had a better tuning. So I would love to see any Mopar fans come in here and represent and see if the Challenger can actually beat the Charger uh, in the B1 race class distances. It has the advantage in street currently, but we'll only know if one car is superior to the other by getting the best possible times in each distance in each class. So there you have it. We'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on using the rating ladder and rankings to compare vehicles and see which one is best. Now what we can do is take one more look in the rankings and this time filter by class. So for street eighth mile Camaro ZL1 Fus has a top spot as well as quarter mile and half mile and the full mile. Now if we filter by B1 race, eighth mile is a Dart Hemi Superstock as well as a quarter mile, but then the Chevelle SS LS6 has the top spots in half mile and the full mile. So there you go. If you have a question whether any car is superior to another, just go in and check the rankings and you'll see what the players have decided or found out rather by winning. And there you have it.